You know, they say that the toughest phase in a couple's marriage is the empty nest phase. They're wrong. The real toughest phase of that couple's marriage is the never empty nest phase because for a record number of households, the kids are still there and, well, they ain't leaving. More than one in three are still with mom and dad, and these ain't just kids out of college. These are up to 31-year-olds not venturing out of the nest. That's a lot of Normans in the basement. Hadley Heath says this confirms just how psycho this horrifying recovery really is. But Michelle Fields says it's actually an entitlement issue. Um, all right, Heather, let's get to you first. Well, what do you make of this first off and what's driving it? Well, there are a lot of problems packed into one here, Neil, and the statistic about a record number of youths living with their parents shows us some things about this economy. When it comes to unemployment, for example, unemployment is really a crisis for my generation. About half of the unemployed people in the United States today are under 34. A 16 percent unemployment rate among young adults in the United States spells trouble for those of us who want financial independence. But, Michelle, you think it's bigger than that, that a lot of these young people feel entitled? What do you mean by that? Well, look, I think the economy contributes to it a lot. But I also think there's something that a lot of people don't want to talk about, which is that a lot of our peers do feel a sense of entitlement. They feel that certain jobs are beneath them, that they would rather live in their parents' home or go hide in graduate school with student loans than take a job at McDonald's or go work at Quiznos. They feel like they are above those types of jobs. Yeah, but, you know, there are a lot of kids who uh, they are in kind of professions that don't pay a lot, you know. I mean, uh, uh, and and uh, that's not their fault. I mean, that these are jobs that don't, that, that don't pay a lot or, or social-related service jobs that don't pay a great deal. Now, it's not as I mean that they, that they should be double or tripling their salaries. I'm not naive enough to think that. But I, I do think that there, there is a reason for that. that. A lot of these kids, they're not at home just eating bonbons. I mean, some of them are working. They're just not making enough. What do you make of that? Yeah, no, I absolutely agree. This is not everyone. But there are 22, over 21 million people who are living with their parents right now, young Americans. And you would think that they'd be desperate to get out of their parents' home. But the Pew Research Center surveyed these people and found that 78% of them that are living at their parents' home say that they are satisfied with their living arrangement. They're satisfied. 78% percent. So it shows that a lot of people, they think that this is the best situation because a lot of them are, are being subsidized by their parents. Mother, mother. Well, Hadley, here's what I wonder about. I go, and once again, I'm going to sound guilty of being the old, old, old fogey here. I draw a line between those. <laughs> you know, I hate this because for some reason it makes me look overweight. I have no idea. Um, but Hadley, I, well, the one thing I, I, I draw a line between those who aren't working, doing anything, or even trying to find a job, and those who have a job, and, and they're, they're doing the best they can. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm wondering whether that is basically our economy or part-time workforce, the kind of stuff that came out in the employment data today, where, where a lot of employers just don't feel confident enough in the economy to keep workers on very long or to make it full-time or to pay them much when they do because they just think it's still risky. Right. I think Michelle makes a good point about an entitlement attitude among today's youth, but I think an entitlement attitude sadly plagues every generation of Americans and of humans around the world. Self-interest and uh, wanting to take the easy way out is maybe in some ways a human characteristic, especially plaguing young people. But when we look at this economy, we look at the specific problems that our generation is facing. For example, dealing with an economy that uh, is undergoing a major shift, trying to cope and prepare for the health reform law that was passed in 2010. This measure we know is causing many small businesses, about 40% of small businesses say they're freezing hiring, and other businesses that are larger and employ maybe wage earners who work hourly are pushing more of those workers below the 30-hour work week that Obama well, bottom line, wired health insurance. Whatever it is, it's prompting more kids to, to stay at home, but we'll see how long that lasts and maybe whether when they eventually get a job they will take care of their parents. It's a whole other issue. Guys, thank you both very much. Thank you.